Well, good morning to you. And uh, just a quick uh, broadcast today because I've been to see a CEREC machine. The local community dental service is selling, a, selling their CEREC machine, which they bought for 72,000 odd plus VAT. <clears throat> so 84,000 or something. They've used it in the past two and a half years. They've used it for 52 minutes. They've had it faithfully serviced all the time during that period. And they've now decided that uh, probably wasn't such a smart idea. They didn't just buy one of these, they bought two. They put one off to auction and uh, they're interested in selling me the other one. And uh, they want 49,000 for it, which is a bit optimistic I think to say the least but uh, anyway you know it looks fine it looks like it's all in good working order and everything it's stuck in a store cupboard so I, I'm inclined to believe them when they say it hasn't been used but uh, it's looking in a bit of a state isn't it it's because I had I was working in the garden yesterday I had a lovely day working in the garden and then had a shower when I came in, so I then I didn't bother with a shower this morning, but my hair was sticking up, so I put water all over it. And now it looks weird. Which is gonna look weird all day, isn't it? Now <sighs> why didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> what was it Mel Brooks head? Why didn't anyone tell me my my ass was this big when his head was on back to front? Yeah, so. I don't know. The only complication is that my financial year ends on Friday, so if I'm going to buy it, I need to buy it like now. Like now. Or if I need to get some finance organised, I need to get it organised this week. So, but working out what's a fair, what's a fair price is very difficult. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm going to need all the art of the deal, all the skills of Trump to sort of try and you know, because they're going to be overly, hopelessly optimistic about, and and you know they'll they'll be thinking, oh, this is nearly new. You know, what they don't understand is that it's two and a half years old now, and two and a half years old is is you know about the time that you'd be thinking about turning it in, trading it in. It's one of these ones with multiple tools, you know. And I don't know if um, they've been replaced by better models that have got, uh, you know, perhaps one tool and where the units have been really quite substantially miniaturised and, uh, uh, you know, certainly there's a, you know, the, the sort of the inquiries that I've made are, do tend to indicate that they are the size of a tea maker now and not the size of a small bench lathe. So I might just be better off just buying uh, buying a new one. Bearing in mind this thing comes with a... It's just about to run out of its maintenance contract. And... Uh, although, you know, it, it's, it, it's, I'm sure it's a state-of-the-art... Well, it was a state-of-the-art state of machine in 2014, but I don't think it's a state-of-the-art machine in 2017. So what to offer them, you know? What do I, what I offer? I'm not going to offer them 49. They're not going to accept 5. So are we going to meet in the middle somewhere like about 24 or something? Which I think is probably nearer the... Realistically, what they could trade it in for. What I might do is um, ask Serone how much I could trade it in for and then buy it off them for less than the trade-in value and then trade it in for a new one. That would be devious, wouldn't it? I'm not that devious, I'm not that devious. Anyway, sorry, so that's it, so that's it, yeah, okay. I've got, there's plenty to talk about anyway, but I'll do it all tomorrow. All right, have a nice day, bye.